Good morning guys. It's nine o'clock in the morning and I'm home today. I'm it's really nice and cool outside for a change. We have some letters to mail. Uh, Gabby has a letter to mail and I have a Father's Day card to mail. Um, yeah, because Father's Day is this Sunday coming up and hopefully it'll get there in a couple days. And we're gonna go to the pool store and get some chlorine because while I was looking at the chlorine yesterday at Walmart, I was thinking five dollars for a little jug of chlorine and I'll, I'll need like three of them probably for that pool. So I'm just going to get a big jug of chlorine and dump it in the pool and it should be good for a couple weeks. Do you want me to buy you a face mask? Yeah. I'll get you a face mask. It's called a balaclava. You wear it in winter time and put it all over your face. No. no? Look at all these face masks. I know, I need a clearish one to make sense. Oil mud, oil removing mud mask. Yeah. Right, let's go mail these letters. We got these letters, we're gonna mail them. Okay, so Gabby really wants to make this dumb face mask. Sugar slime. slime. Sugar slime? What do you need? Um, sugar, a clear face mask, and something else. Well, let's see if they got clear face mask. Right, we got her. We got it. I need caramel. Gabby just said to me, my car is messy. Well, I wonder why it's messy. Because they don't put this stuff away. Yeah, so messy. When they eat in the car, it's all over the car. When you drink in the car, the bottles are in the car. I only have milk duds. She has milk duds and it's still in the car. I know, but... Oh. We're at the pool store. Those are the buckets we're going to get. Those are the buckets of chlorine. Let's get going. Duck. Yeah, what a big duck. Big stingray. We should get a big duck. Oh. Sipping pool noodle. Oh, you fill it up with. You fill this up with. You fill this up with water, and then you can drink it from the top. Cool. Go to the beach. You can put your beer in there. You can drink it at the beach. More floaties. Cool light, giraffe, flamingo, donut. Let's go get our chlorine. Let's go. Got one of these jugs, and you have to buy the jug now. Have to buy the jug and then keep filling it up every time. Isn't that crazy? Or exchange it for one that's full. I hate that because last time I did that, I brought. A nice new jug and I all, all they gave me was a crappy old jug and I was like wait a second I gave you a nice brand new jug and you're giving me an old crappy jug that needs to be thrown out anyways I put this in the pool and hopefully that's enough you used to have a when we had an in-ground pool one double the size of this and we used to use you know two of these in the big pool and one of these Works better than those little jugs you can get for five dollars at Walmart, believe it or not. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video, and it is Wednesday, one of my favorite days of the week because Gabby goes riding, and I have an idea. I have an awesome idea. How about we have a yard sale this weekend? Have a yard sale and make a ton of money. Why? Cause. Cause why? Come on, you gotta have a reason. I kinda want to, but we don't have anything. Oh my gosh, have you seen our attic? Do you want to have a yard sale this weekend? It is okay. lunchtime. Sophie is eating grilled cheese. My fourth piece. Sophie is eating grilled cheese. I, on the other hand, am not eating anything because I'm doing that stupid fasting thing. Okay, it's not stupid. It's really good for you. It's called intermittent fasting. And basically, every morning when I wake up, I try and withhold my breakfast for as long as I can. So the first day, I waited until 9 o'clock to eat, and I get up at 5.30. And the second day, I waited until 10 o'clock to eat, and today is actually 5 after 11, and I'm just about to make my breakfast. I'm so hungry. And it's super good for you. When you do fasting, like true fasting, it actually resets your system, makes you younger, makes you healthier, makes you live longer, and it's always been super good for me. I just sometimes cave and once you get off of that you it's hard to get back on but and guys I'm as tall as mom yeah look at it she grew she grew overnight it was at 3 a.m. we're gonna try and do a 3 a.m. challenge soon because I feel like crazy things happen at our house at 3 a.m. do you feel like crazy things happen to at our house at 3 a.m. Mm, no not yet well Me I don't know can. look how high you grew overnight 
Ah, trickers. I grew too. <laughs> you grew too. No, I grew taller. We made it to the barn. We made it to the barn. We brought Otis a couple of collars and a leash. Oh. You have to check it out. What? Who's not being rude enough? Oh, so we came here early just in case we had to tack up and Lou's being ridden early, so But we get to untack and maybe bring Blue to the barn Bought a new horse and we're leading it down to the barn. <coughs> yeah, feels that way. So we get to take Blue all the way down to the barn. Lucky me, I get to walk all the way down to that barn. Where's a four wheeler when I need it? No, don't run. Gabby. <laughs> Anyways, what kind of horse is Blue? He's a thoroughbred Percheron cross. Yeah, thoroughbred. 
found out blue is a thoroughbred Percheron cross. That's why he's white. Percherons are white, aren't they? Aren't they white? No, he's gray. I don't gray? Know At least it's a nice, cool day and not a scorcher. Right? Did you like jumping? Yeah. Like crest relief. You have to um, go into your two point, normal two point, and right before the jump, you go like this, and, um, and then the horse jump. Gives it a loop in the reins, not like straight. Yeah. Jump. I like Blue. He's my kind of horse. He's lazy. He's a lazy walker. No, well, he's a small walker. In the mornings, he's cranky. He tries to bite. I'm actually glad that I get to take Blue down. Are we there yet? Oh my further. Why don't we trot down there? Luckily we're going into his, um to the barn instead of his pasture. So way down there. Ooh, um in not in Lewis pasture but in um as he in Ben's pasture. I think there's a new horse. Um I forget his name. He's like a dappled gray horse. He's all Well, I can say at least I'll get my exercise. Come on. Um, and Gabby are at riding and I'm here with Sophie. And what are we doing, Soph? Riding. Well, where are we going? Upstairs. Upstairs for what? Boys. We are going upstairs in the attic and we are going to find all the stuff that we can find to put in the yard sale because we have decided we're definitely going to have a yard sale. So uh, remember how I showed you guys our littlest pet shop collection the other day? Well, this is our Monster High collection. These are all of our Monster High dolls and most of them are in a fabulous shape. Let me see. We've got this girl. We got this girl, this is Caddy Noir, and Caddy Noir. Noir. We got them all over the place. Like, look at this girl. She does not even look like she's ever been played with. Uh, oh, she has. And look at this teacher, this mean teacher girl. And they have horses ones. They have horse ones. This girl. Anyway, we have all these. What is this? Beads. Necklace. We have all these Monster High dolls. And they're going in the yard sale. Mom, let's go upstairs and find out what else we can get. I want to clear out our house. I want to get rid of... Okay. I want to get rid of as much junk as we can get rid of. And then we're going to go out for supper. Ziggy. Looking for a Ziggy stall because... Blue is right here, Ziggy. Yep, here's Ziggy. Here's Ziggy. And there's Blue Stall. I'm gonna shut the door a little. Nice and cool in here. All the horses are in the cool barn because it's too hot out, so they get rotated. They get to cool off in the cold barn. It's actually nice and cool in here. Okay. This is Ziggy. He's for sale. He looks bigger than blue. 
Maybe same size. Can't kind of tell. But he looks friendly. Look at him sticking his nose out. Yeah. He's friendly very guy. Friendly. He is? Yes, he is. I say he's taller than a little. Great. Bye, Blue. Bye, Blue. I think it's the new horse. It got stitches. Oh. Cool. Oh, this horse got stitches. Look at him. Apparently, he rammed his head into the no, trailer door. Did you ram your head into the trailer door, break oh, the window? I so that horse um, oh, this, this morning went here. out for our, a trail run and they took it into the trailer and he bucked back, then bucked up, and then smashed the window of the trailer and fell down and had all these stitches he had to get looked after this morning get stitches all right we're off to go home get the uh, laura and sophie and then we're off to dinner where are we going and then we're going to get something really special I have to change. a new creature Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.